This is a follow-up to my previous video about the Milankovitch cycles. I got a lot of questions about that video, and I'm going to try to answer them. So where are we within the Milankovitch cycles? We're right here. Remember, there are three cycles. There's the tilt, the eccentricity, and the precession. First, let's look at tilt. 9,000 years ago, the Earth's tilt was very high. It's gradually been dropping since then, so that now we're in a medium level of tilt. A high tilt predicts a warm climate. A medium tilt predicts a medium climate. Next, eccentricity. Currently, our eccentricity is low. This means that the Earth's orbit is almost a circle. Now we combine the eccentricity with the precession of the axis to figure out how far away the Sun is during the northern summers. 9,000 years ago, the Earth was close to the Sun in the summer, but now it's far away. So we had been in a warm period, and now we're in a cold period. Now let's look at this over a shorter period of time. What's been going on the last 50 years? If we zoom in, we see that nothing has happened. The Milankovitch cycles are very slow, and nothing has changed within 50 years. Putting everything together, what do the Milankovitch cycles predict about us? They would predict that over the past 9,000 years, the Earth should have been gradually getting colder. And today, we should be in a mild ice age. Wait, what's going on? Why is it so hot? Did anything else happen in the last 9,000 years? To understand what happened, we need to talk about plants. Plants are made from carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. Hydrogen and oxygen come from water, and the carbon comes from the air. When you cut down a forest, the wood rots away, and the carbon goes back into the air. 10,000 years ago, we invented farming, and this was a big hit. Everyone started doing it. To make way for farms, we chopped down the trees. The carbon in the trees went into the air, raising CO2 levels. The Chinese invented rice farming. Rice farming produces methane, which is a greenhouse gas. In summary, farming produced lots of CO2 and methane. The Milankovitch cycles repeat themselves. We've seen many other warm interglacial periods before, and we can compare the warm periods from previous cycles. This graph shows us how CO2 levels have changed over the last 10,000 years. Let's compare this to how CO2 levels changed during the previous seven interglacial periods. This shows us the average change. What we see is that this time, CO2 levels rose higher than normal, because this time we cleared forests to make way for farms. And if we look at methane, we see a similar pattern. So the reason we're not in a mild ice age right now is because farming produced enough greenhouse gases to keep the planet warm. But the story doesn't end there. Farming is old technology, we were just getting going. We've added a lot more CO2 since then, and we've been doing it a lot faster. The Industrial Revolution gave us the modern world. It brought up living standards across the globe. And this led to riches that had never been seen before, but also released a lot of CO2. CO2 levels are rising quickly, and global temperature is too. The recent changes to our climate have nothing to do with the Milankovitch cycles. They have to do with greenhouse gases. For more astronomical videos, please click to subscribe.